All right, y'all, we back. And y'all know we like a key, key, key on We Talk Back. So we got a funny nigga today. He's a, he's a, he's a comedian, well, actor, and uh, currently studying theology, right? <laughs> Nat Dav Green on yeah. We Talk yeah. Back. Thank you for joining us. I have been really introduced you. a few times, but I think, to school, yeah, right? I think that's the best one. He's a funny nigga. Like, <laughs> like, what about him a black woke king? Are you a king? <laughs> All right, king. Thank you. Going funny forward. king. Funny king. We got uh, Nat Green, Kang. Yeah, man. What's up, man? Thank I'm you happy for joining to be us. Here. Yeah. What's up? So, you're a comedian, right? That's your main job, right? Some may say. It Some may say. How did you get into that? Uh, I think it was like just growing up. I always wanted to, you know, I liked entertaining the class and entertaining the school. Class just, clown? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't call it that. That's what, you know, teachers call it that type of shit. Uh, they put a clown on it. Did you claim change classes or you was in the same class all day? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> actually, uh, the AP classes I was taking up. Oh, right. um, okay. Okay. The AP stands for advanced placement. Mm -hmm. The classes I was uh, doing, <laughs> we actually changed schools from time to time. Okay. We, we would go to, to the colleges and take up some of the courses as well. So by the time I graduated from high school, shit, I think I already had 14 college credits. Okay. Yep. So did you go to college after that? Yeah, and I dropped out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I ended my college career with 15 credits. <laughs> I'm just talking. <laughs> All right, so uh, you toured 85 South, right? Yeah, when they let me. All right, how did that come about? Uh, man, it really was um, like being around, you know, Lowe's, Fly, uh, Clay. Mm -hmm. And uh, even Chico, like, you know, all of us was in the, you know, around the same same parts, in the same stages and stuff like that. So once they took off, I honestly thought they forgot about me. Mm. Uh, Tell us about it. Oh, oh shit, it's yeah, getting real. I, I thought they had forgot about me then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's nigga stupid. <laughs> they, <laughs> they sent me a text. They said, uh, bro, what you doing this weekend? I said nothing. They were like, we want you to come on the road. And that shit changed my life. God is good. He great. At Amen. least 85 South is good. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Man, God is good. 85 South is good. <laughs> but Carlos, that nigga was great to me. <laughs> I don't even think God wanted him to help me, but he, he, he helped me. Now, nah, all your side, man, it's like, it's so much. To the point, it's like it's like a big family. Mm -hmm. Like far as not not even just like the people that you see on camera, the people behind the camera, and then they bring other people in. It's like everybody get along. It don't be no egos, no type of shit like that. So it'd be like it'd be cool. So that's, that'd be like the right place for people. That's good when you have a team. Now yeah. let me ask you this: doing stand up, have you ever? I feel like all comedians have that moment where. Nobody laughs at they shit. You ever had a cricket moment where everybody looking at you on stage like, what is this nigga even talking about? <laughs> I think early when I first started, uh, my first my first uh, few months of comedy, I was, I think I was exceeding the expectations. Mm -hmm. I think I was looking at comedy was way easier than it, you know what I'm saying, was supposed to be. So when people would try to give me advice, I wouldn't listen like, yeah, that shit probably happened to y'all, not me. So it was one time, I had did this uh, this spot. It was an older crowd, mm -hmm. so uh, the promoter he was like, "Yeah, hey, be careful, don't go up there with all the, you know, the cussing. Like, you know, like it's an older crowd." I'm like, "Man, get the fuck out my face, man! I know what I'm doing." <laughs> man, I went up there, and I think it was so bad to the point I was hearing forks, scrape plates, like you know what I'm saying. That's how I know it's quiet as fuck. Like <laughs> I could tell, I could tell what the what the nigga was cutting with his fork. I was like, that nigga just. I said that steak soft as a motherfucker. He didn't use a butter knife. He just cut his steak with a fork. But nah, after that, I needed that though. I was like, all right, it's a lot you gotta learn with it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, you gotta take this stand up comedy serious. Like if you gonna do it, and that's not even with comedy. That's with anything. Like. Podcasting, mm -hmm. like, you know, interviewing, all that type of stuff. It's stuff that we always can learn if we, like, apply ourselves. But if we don't, 
you're going to stay stagnant and you're not going to be ready for another level to reach if you don't be ready for that type of stuff. Yeah. You one of those comedians that feel some type of way about the the, the Instagram comedians? Hell no. You be doing that Shit, too? I get money with anybody. Or you able to transition easily? <laughs> hey, I get money with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a damn what they doing, as long as it don't stop what I'm doing. Right. But it's like a lot of people don't realize it's, it's so much money out here, but you know what it only happens on? Like on the black side. Mm. Man, mm -hmm. they don't be complaining. Do you hear... Uh, Shit, Adam Sandler complaining about them white TikTok star? Hell no, he don't give a damn. Not saying I'm Adam Sandler, but I'm saying, mm -hmm. like, it's just be like them conversations that never happens. Right. Yeah. So it's like, it shouldn't happen on our side. There's so much money everywhere. And Instagram, doing comedy on Instagram, that shit hard too. Yeah. Coming up with creative skits and keep feeding that content. That beast, and you seeing them comments right there at, at the comedy club, you might not make everybody laugh, mm -hmm. but you might not hear them four people to say, oh, that nigga went shit. But then you put that Instagram video, they'll leave that shit on your page, man. This video ain't shit. You right. see? <laughs> so, everybody so, see so, it. Nigga, you can read. <laughs> <laughs> so that shit worked both ways. Now, have you ever had someone take a joke too seriously and want beef with you after the show? Uh, like, I saw DC had the two-piece of nigga before because of something he said. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, no, nah, not necessarily. I, like, me, I, I try to, like, I, I try to refrain from, like, you know, saying anything that might upset people. I, I try not to even talk about people in the crowd. I, I do a lot of clean church jokes. Like, that's my type of style. I do that type of comedy. Church jokes? Yeah. Tell we're, me we're one. I want to hear a church joke. Oh, uh, there's a lot of shit I say. I don't, I can't just, you know, <laughs> dial in on one joke. I'm just like, a lot of people don't do clean comedy, mm -hmm. and that's the only comedy I choose to do. Okay. No profanity, <laughs> yeah, no sexualized joke. I, I just don't like that type of shit. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like to do that fuck shit comedy. I like, I like to just be clean, you know? Okay, yeah, I like to, I get everybody it. can enjoy my jokes from 3 to 89, you right. know what I'm saying? So if I curse in my jokes, everybody can't come to my motherfucking show. Right, so, that's so I, I get I like. it. Yeah, I'm a clean comedy. Somebody asked me yesterday, have you ever said anything you regret saying, like any jokes you regret doing? Mm, probably, I don't know. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying, like, Every day I'm a like, new person. I shouldn't have said that. Uh, I don't know. No regrets. Yeah, not right on Fuck top. Fuck them people. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I so, be see, y'all making me think now nah, this shit gonna happen where I regret some. But no, nah, right now in this state, I really don't. I think it's like sometimes you know when we're on stage, we might go too far. Mm -hmm. Well, we could have stopped. Like, nah, that's a little bit too far. But shit, no. Nah. It is what it is. As long is. as the people laughing, I don't think you ever really going too far. I try not on some real, on a serious tip though, like how we talk, you know how we might say, you know, call like, um, sometimes people like think just because you say the word bitch that you're talking about a female, or should I say a woman, because now you can't even say female. You can. No, man. they. I had called. There's some women who don't like bruh, that. And I didn't know that. That's a lot of stuff I'm learning. Because a female, like a woman, is a yeah. female human. And they said, female could be a dog. Right. They said, Cat. oh my God. I can't believe he just called that. I'm like, what the fuck I say? I didn't know that. You told me something. You cannot say that. These motherfuckers you, touchy. They so got, you got to say female woman or just don't say no, female? No, you got to say woman. Okay, I or heard, female. like, you know, people have problems with that now, too. Yeah, they got problems with that. Yeah, because nobody says these males be on some shit. Like, nobody says that, but they be like, a, these females they, they ain't shit. They it could be a female anything. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So, like, they want to generalize it. That's so fair. On that type of stuff, you got to be careful when you're saying that type of stuff. But, of course, when I said what I was getting at, like, if I use the word bitch, I'm not necessarily talking about a woman. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, bitch might just be a, a, a terminology of a person. Yeah. Man, I'm going, this bitch cut me off. That ain't necessarily talking about no woman. Was it a woman, though? No, it was a bitch-ass nigga who cut me off. <laughs> I, just, I just was summarizing my sentence. So I just called him. You know, one thing I wish that would change, like, people would be like, uh, stop saying, um, 
oh, you acting like a bitch or you acting pussy, because pussy is real fucking strong. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So right. a lot of things we be saying is like, <laughs> like this is related to women is actually, yeah. actually some masculine shit. Like right. men are catty too. Men argue. Men start shit. Men be hating. Right. Yeah. So how is that all? And it's okay for a man to, like to be emotional and be vulnerable. If y'all emotional with each other, y'all be like, man, you acting like a little bitch right now. Oh, I see what you're saying. Really, yeah. you acting like a man right now. Right. But <laughs> <laughs> it it depends on the words you use after that. The adjective. That word. Yeah. Adjectives so it's matter. The adjectives and adverbs. That's what. Right. Matters. Okay. That's what. So if you just like say, bad bitch. yeah, if you acting like a bitch, <laughs> what, now describe what kind of bitch you acting like. But if you say a bitch ass nigga, mm -hmm. or a stupid that's bitch, that's fighting words. Yeah, like that. That takes that takes a different. What about a little bitch? Um, uh, hmm. That could be a short bitch. Little that, bitty that's bitch. Not, yeah. That's, <laughs> that could be a, a bitch under four feet or something like that. Yeah. Cause you can't use that other word. So now, like, right. is that better saying that? So right. How tall are that. you? Well, it depends. Uh, <laughs> on a good day, I'd be like 5'11". On a, on a regular day, like when I got on my shoes, I'm about 6'2". Period. 6'10", okay. shit, <laughs> fuck it. Now, do you have an experience on tour with 85 South where shit got real wild? Like, share that with our... Shit, um, I think we was in Minnesota or was it or Milwaukee. Uh, I wasn't on stage though. Uh, you gotta be careful in the Midwest. Yeah, it was it was money bag. He was on stage, mm -hmm. and this girl she got up there, uh, <laughs> and she was dancing, had to lift her dress up and all that. Like it just was so crazy. We thought she was going up there. I think it was right after the Dave Chappelle shit when mm -hmm. that shit happened out there. So, but the thing about it, uh, me and money bag, we opened up the show. Now eighty five South. Uh, they tour with like 10 security guards, all of them big, swole type motherfucker. This is real niggas. Man, they I'm got talking big about they're, they're killer. Like, they have <laughs> security to protect them. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, with the security, they are Chico, DC, and Carlos security. Mm -hmm. Y'all niggas, and money, like yeah, me and Money Man <laughs> found that shit out the hard way. When that motherfucker ran on stage, I'm looking around. I was like, "Hey, security, security!" They looked up. Shit, nigga, go help him. <laughs> like, Damn. So, so, nigga, <laughs> that's when I realized then. I said, "Hey, man, we gotta get us some motherfucking money, cause we need to have us one." At least one nigga. <laughs> that's the we one that one y'all. Split a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Even if we have a goddamn just throw a nigga a little something after the show, <laughs> just bend your head right there and look to him. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Read it. All right, tell us who's your Mount Rushmore of comedy. Like, the four people that you look up to most and admire most. Now, and see, why? Now, see, with my list, it's not going to be like the... You know, all, everybody always be like, Richard Pryor, Eddie Murphy, that type of shit. Mm -hmm. Like, that's easy to say mm -hmm. because, you know what I'm saying, you done heard everybody else to say it. But me, personally, <clears throat> two of my favorite comedians, like, I, I do shows with, and that's uh, Carlos Miller. And Carlos Kelly. Miller is one of my favorite Man, comedians. that nigga's a beast. Kelly K and Kelly K. Dub, them two, my okay. favorite comedians. Uh, Clayton English. He on my Mount Rushmore mm -hmm. company. And uh, Dave Chappelle. Okay, that's a good amount. And, and the reason why is like a lot of people, it's easy, I would say like Kevin Hart and all those type of people that we see. Like, but you know what I'm saying? When you see somebody like, we didn't see Kevin Hart. I see Kevin Hart, he already was successful. Like I done seen Carlos and Clay and, and K-Dub in those rooms where Getting it out the mud. Man, motherfuckers don't make it out that room if you ain't funny. And mm -hmm. I seen them on big stages as well. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, I can see this the type of route, type of shit. Even though them other comedians do it, but I didn't see it. Right. I just see you niggas now. So it's like, shit. Right. Yeah, I'm from Charleston. Carlos Miller's supposed to be there on Friday. Everybody go buy your motherfucking tickets. For sure. Yeah. When this come up? Uh, one of these days. Well, shit. Next, maybe, 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 maybe next week. You're gonna be too motherfucking late. Yeah, gonna be too late. God damn, why don't I miss the shit? <laughs> nah, You're but right. nah, think about it like certain, 
Certain people ain't naturally funny. Mm -hmm. So sometimes a person, I like naturally funny yeah, people. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's what like everybody like I that I be watching like they be goddamn naturally funny comedians. Yeah, the first time I saw, um, like, Carlos Miller would probably be at the top of my list, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was opening for Mike Epps, and I think it was way funnier than Mike Epps. Hey, man, you said it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Epps is really funny, too, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga be telling the same jokes. Let's be <laughs> Don't clear. Don't do Mike Epps. <laughs> Don't do Mike Epps. said nothing wrong. I just said you said it. <laughs> they Don't be cheating in comedy, dog. They, be, they have the same fucking... Like skits, the same Well, I mean, they go on tour, they say some yeah. of the same things. They That's what you Yeah, too. but you can't yeah. make a, a TV um, um, yeah, comedy saying, show yeah. and then also doing that around the country. What is the new content? Sometimes they are. That's what they're doing but around the country, But sometimes people though. come to hear that joke, particular yeah. joke. They'll get mad. Hey, man, you ain't do the goddamn what 35 they <laughs> feet yourself. Oh, shit, yeah. so. But now, like, a lot of times you'll see sometimes when people get on them shows and that's where you will see where you stand in comedy as well. And I think that helps when we get on those type of shows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, outside of your Mount Rushmore, who would you most like to work with in your career? Mm, in my career? Shit. Probably Dave Chappelle. Yeah. I want to work with him. We just met Dave. Damn, yeah, boy. we did. Mm -hmm. yeah, man, that nigga. He was in Charleston. In Charleston. Doing the, what? The tour ended. His, the, uh, yeah, his comedy tour with yeah. Chris Rock. And y'all just pulled up on him? Yeah, we pulled up backstage. Oh, man. Yeah. Shook so his cool head. With the yeah. Man. Newport is going crazy, though. Oh, yeah. That nigga, he a chain smoker. Yeah. I mean, I see him when I see him on stage when he performing. That nigga smoked six cigarettes. He didn't finish one joke. Right. I say, God, damn. <laughs> Is this a motherfucking cigarette commercial or what? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga ain't even introduced himself. So that nigga only He getting a big check for them cigarettes. Yeah. I don't know what type of smoke. And, and I, that's how I know Dave was real nigga, because he smoke them like a real nigga. Right. Like, he ain't no no. He, you could tell he don't really hang. He hang around white people, but he still smoke like a nigga. Yeah. How niggas smoke? Show us. <laughs> hit that motherfucking cigarette. <laughs> All right, uh, tell us how you balance life. All right, so as a comedian, you have to travel a lot. How do you balance family life? Because I heard you say earlier you have a little girl 12 years old. How do you balance fa family life with your career? Man, it's easy shit. They got mamas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> See, that ain't fair. <laughs> so shit. No, nah, but honestly, like, uh, when I can, I always, I always spend time with my daughter, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? On some real, like, because, you know, that money... Yeah, that'd that be good, because the mamas want that. But them mm -hmm. kids, they be needing that time. Why you say the mamas want that? Like, shit, they, they do don't want give a fuck where you going and what you got to do. You better send that goddamn money. Yeah, but the kid needs the money as well. Right. Yeah, but the kid don't know how much money they need. The mama know exactly how much money you supposed to send. All of it. Yeah, all of it. <laughs> send all the money, nigga. <laughs> but now, um... But I think that helps, too, as well, like, me being around my kids and being around my family. Mm -hmm. That give me things to talk about. Like, yeah. I'm still having life issues. Right. So it ain't like I'm so far away where, like, shit, nigga, I still know what's going on. I still know what they doing in schools and shit. Mm -hmm. Kids be putting on that stupid-ass music when they get in the car. I know, the, I know all the new rappers. I know what not to listen to. How many kids you got? Uh, two. Girls, both girls? Both girls. You a hoe. No, I, no, I just had it. <laughs> and the <laughs> reason why I say that, because I don't want nobody watching like, nigga, the test finna come back. I don't want nobody. <laughs> oh, you got a maybe out there? You no, got I'm a maybe, baby? Hell, no. <laughs> Men like who that. have them daughters? Yeah. If a woman ain't never made you cry, boy, one of, them, one of them daughters gonna make your ass cry. Man, they already know what made me cry. <laughs> nah, but it, I think... Having a girl, like, it opened up a different side of you anyway. Like, at first, don't get me wrong, I wanted boys. Mm -hmm. but I'm glad, man, because I had to realize boys don't give a fuck about their dad. <laughs> not the same way girls do. Yeah, not how them girls mm -hmm. do, because I realized, like, I think when I turned four, like, I was off my dad, like, nigga, get the fuck on, man. Four? Not four. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, my mama, I am always was, you know, oh, like, but them girls and they daddies, Right, they love him. I definitely love, love my daddy. He can't yeah, do no too. wrong. Me too. And I that nigga ain't shit, but he cannot do yeah, no wrong. That's why I need. <laughs> that's why I don't want a boy. <laughs> my son, that nigga hate the shit out of me. 
<laughs> they be watching it, man. My dad ain't shit. He ain't funny at all. Yeah, that but my funny. daughter's watching shit. <laughs> man, my little girl, <laughs> man, what's so crazy? We was on, uh, I was doing something on YouTube because I had to pull it up. You couldn't tell her I went on TV. She was like, Dad on TV, Dad on Period. TV. Period. Shit, yeah. man. Her mom was trying to explain where well, I said, I don't do that hating ass shit. Let her, you know, let her do what it is. It's on the TV. She's right, technically. Right. She was like, my dad was on TV yesterday. Right, period. What show you love? I was like, hey, man. <laughs> All right, so we want to play a game with you called Would You Rather. Oh, right? I thought y'all were going to talk about some other shit. I was going to say, cut the camera off there. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing a game with Big <laughs> Just so we, us and our listeners can get to know you a little bit better. All right, bet. All right, so it's just going to be this or that. You pick which one you would prefer and then tell us why. Okay. okay? So the first one is a vacation or a staycation. All right. Not that I'm slow. What's the difference? So a vacation is somewhere away. A staycation is like somewhere close by, like home, like going to like a hotel and having a staycation solo. Hotel hey, sex vacation, good. man, that sounds like some weirdo ass shit. A no, it's, it's like healing for you. Sometimes you just need man, to be away from better, everything. You just get you a bigger apartment or bigger house <laughs> and go in the other damn room wasting all that money talking about a staycation. Okay. Some people don't know the city they're in. You know what I'm saying? Man, Visitors fuck know that. your city better than you do. Fuck right. That. <laughs> vacation me. And why? He's trying because to fuck I want, some balconies. Yeah, I want to see the <laughs> see the world. Right. I see. Uh, are you a nighttime person or daytime? I'm a nighttime person. What time you be getting up? Getting up? Uh, now I might get up around ten, nine, eleven. It all depends. But nighttime, like I like to just stay up at night. But I ain't gonna lie, what we feeling to realize, the morning be lit. Mm -hmm. You wake up early, that shit. So sometimes I wake up just to put on Twitter. Rise and grind, I go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up about 300 folk and I retweeted that shit. I was like, oh, them folks up and at it. <laughs> Let me start my day, hit me about 12. <laughs> go play my numbers. <laughs> so, rich and famous or rich and unknown? Damn, now that's hard. And the only reason I'm gonna say hard, because like at times, shit. You can't go wrong. I thought you were going to say broken some. Shit, rich, that's the key. <laughs> Shit. Right. I would go with rich and famous. Why? Really? And the reason why I say that, because, like, rich and unknown, like, I think in the field that we in, like, you don't want to be rich and unknown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just imagine if you grew up in, like, an affluent family. This money, like you still, would you, you still, still want to do comedy? If you like always grew up with a whole lot of money, would you still want to make people laugh? I wouldn't have shit to talk about. How, nigga? If you want to go explore nigga. every ocean in the damn world for the next three months, you can do that. That's freedom. If I grew up rich, I wouldn't have faced some of the shit I knew about and been around some of the people I grew up around. That's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say. Okay. So, like, yeah. me growing up in the neighborhoods I grew up around, we had to be funny. I'm seeing people that was funny. If you grow up rich, ain't shit to laugh about but the poor people that you have to. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that poor motherfucker come to school today? Like, man, I would talk different. I'd be so fluent. I'd be... Wearing pants to my ankles like my other homeboys who grew up, you know what I'm saying? I got a homeboy right now, got a suit, and his goddamn pant leg come up. Nigga, <laughs> you. pull your shoes up. Yeah, yeah. So, like, when you get, when you grow up rich, you dress different. Like, them niggas, they got to wear suits and shit all the time. Hell no. You don't like suits? Not all the time. I got a homeboy, he wore a suit to the basketball court. Like, he, that's just how he dressed. <laughs> to play? His name ain't Thad. Thad. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga slide. That slide is. In the paint. Thaddeus, yeah. Thaddeus. That's a Richard sounding name, okay? Thaddeus sounds kind of wealthy to me. Mm -hmm. For sure. Uh, passenger or driver? Driver, because a driver Period. controls the music. And I like to be in control. Like, I, I might drive crazy, but on that passenger seat, it sit, feel like everybody drive crazy. Hell like, yeah. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> he hitting the fence. Yeah, the brakes. the brake that ain't done. He sitting up and shit like, man, god damn. They want to change some shit on the road. What but like, 
What about passenger in the back, though? Like, where is someone just driving you everywhere? Yeah. That's even more stressful, yeah, I think. Like that's why I chill yeah, in the back. Like that, so I, I don't know. That's mm-hmm. where I chill. Yeah, so, I don't know. I, I'd rather be in control drive. Then yeah, you control the music. Passenger really ain't got no say so. Not, especially not with the music. Motherfucker, you ain't driving. Right, that's right. Yeah. In the thermostat. All right, car oh, or plane? Yeah. Plane. Easy. Yeah. It depends on where we're going, though. How far? Yeah, Is there how, far. how many amount of hours on the road where it's like, mm-hmm. nah, that's too much? Yeah, that's too much. How many hours? No more than four and a half. Five, five max. Yeah. I feel five you. Five max. Because I think Jacksonville, like, four and a half from here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just drove from Greensboro not too long ago. That was, like, four and a half. No, nah, that was, like, close to five. Yeah. But it's a straight shot, so it went bad. You feel me? Down 85, right? Right down 85. You know what's going on. 85 yeah. style. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, be embarrassed or be afraid? Embarrassed. Because, man. You just got to do it, right? Yeah. Because being embarrassed, that's you could get over that. But being afraid, motherfucker, you gonna remember who was a scary motherfucker. Man, that motherfucker was so scared the other day. <laughs> they, they talk about it so different. But embarrassed, like, man, that nigga might not come around. And then when you show up, like, oh, you done got over that little shit, huh? You pissed it was on yourself. You a little yourself. scary. Yeah. <laughs> you pissed on yourself the other day, nigga. I know you embarrassed. <laughs> man, I was drunk. <laughs> cool. It's only drunk. But if you were goddamn scared, they gonna remember that shit three months down when you get drunk, and they be like, man, let me tell you about this scary motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just, I'd rather be embarrassed, because after that first time, you get over that shit. Liquor or weed? Liquor. Easy. 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 You don't smoke? No, nah, I don't really smoke like that. How about shrooms? No shrooms? <laughs> Who done told you so? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't. You riding the rainbow? I done tried, uh, tried to shroom, shroom or two before. But see, I don't really know how to do drugs, so I ain't take it, right? How'd you take it? I just bit that motherfucker. Like, Man, I don't eat shrooms. You can eat them. Yeah. You know, because they do like the but candy I'm bar. Saying, I put mine in tea, though. I didn't, I didn't take the right amount of quantity. Mm. I just bit that motherfucker like, yeah, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> And you had no experience. Yeah, so motherfucker, like, no, you gotta take no bitch. I ain't taking that much of nothing. You gotta, you gotta weigh it just like yeah, the I weed, man. Like, you gotta no, measure. No, I just be feel like three point five. Something happened to me, and motherfucker just start recording now. Now you embarrassed. I'm online naked, <laughs> <laughs> singing Taylor Swift or something. Making my way downtown. <laughs> right. Nah, you, you know what my song is? What's that? I don't even, hold on, I'm tripping. Party in the USA. Who sing that? Hillary Duff. My oh yeah, that's my shit. That's who I sing it. Party in the USA and a Jay Z song. Come on. Oh yeah, yeah. Jay Z song. song, Come on. on. That's my shit too. (laughs) (laughs) All right. um, Home cooked meal or fine dining. Man. You want that shrimp Alfredo or not? Home cooked meal. Hey, but you gotta be specific. What you consider a home cooked meal? Uh, from scratch, like Anything prepared not no box shit. Okay, yeah, home cooked meal. Yeah, cause I know what's All going on. All the diabetes. On. That's usually the home cooked meal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We use a lot of butter. Yeah, man. Black people. When you say fine dining, you don't realize how fine that shit be to that damn chick, cause. <laughs> <laughs> like, hold well, up, wait a minute. You start looking at shit. Hold up. Why y'all put that on there? You could. <laughs> I could have had my steak without that. <laughs> Bros or hoes. Hoes. <laughs> I thought niggas said bros before hoes. Yeah, and yeah, no, you see them niggas ain't been you doing shit. You ain't got no MOB tattoo? Man, hell no. Them niggas ain't been doing shit since they came up with that shit, bros before hoes. Fuck <laughs> that. Give me them hoes. <laughs> I'll get a new bro. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> bros ain't shit. <laughs> if they bros, they'll still be bros after the hoes. <laughs> Damn, bro, I was calling you all day. Where you at? With a hoe, nigga. <laughs> Shit, why you ain't hit me, nigga? The old came first. <laughs> now I can come take you where they at. <laughs> but no, nah, man, I'm some real shit. It all depends, though. I ain't gonna necessarily, like, say, you know what I'm saying? In certain situations, it's different. But. I think everything a man does in life is for the hoes. If it's not, I'm not, not calling your mama a hoe. Yeah, but. Okay? Nah, Just women, women. period. Yeah, I, and that makes total sense. Like, the way a nigga dress, the the car a nigga want, like you don't. I don't do know. That. Some of these niggas do be trying to attract niggas. 
forgot about them that. Hellcats, that's for niggas. That's not for women. No, no. Certain women like to hear that motherfucking engine. You right. Some, Some military do, wives. But I feel like it's... Because <laughs> you said no military wives. <laughs> military hoes. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, it, but it's certain shit, like, you know what I'm saying? To get acknowledgement from a nigga, like, it depends on what a... Hey, I don't know. I don't care what a nigga think. Now, a woman... You be like, you don't... If a woman be like, why you got that car? What, what, what's wrong with it? But if a nigga be like, why you got that car? Man, these hoes love this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, anything... Period. You can say something about a woman to justify anything while you doing, like... Nigga, them ugly ass shoes, but he whole love these shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, this whole bottom of the shoe. Yeah, right. so he's like, I got that my nigga, nigga his, uh, he, he would have his barber giving him like a little chin strap looking beard. Like, why you don't grow your shit all the way down here? Like, that's what he what do? Suppo- Start growing that shit up. And then he was like, man, this shit look nice, man. Yeah, I look way yeah, better. Women be knowing. Men don't know shit until they get a good woman. Right. You don't know how to dress, wipe your ass. And... No, I'm telling you. <laughs> That's the thing. Y'all don't be on to wipe no, y'all ass. Sometimes no women address you how they want you so another bitch uh, know, oh, he off the market. Because you see how certain niggas dress, be like, oh, that nigga got an old lady. Mine. Right. <laughs> my man, you my man. See if he got them brunch boots on and shit like that, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Not brunch boots. Yeah, he got that little brim hat, all that type of shit. Oh, yeah, he married. He Some niggas dress like that on their own. Somebody told him that was fly. <laughs> They gonna get married quick. Uh, animals or people? I'm an animal person. Fuck these humans. I'm a people person. Me too. Mm. I ain't gotta clean up after them motherfucker. Right. Well, you babies. Clean up after animals. You definitely gotta clean up after niggas, especially ones that yeah, smoke weed. Right. They gonna leave ashes in your cup full of liquor. Well, y'all talking on, um, <laughs> on y'all behalf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with people too. I like animals; they're cool, but I, I, I like prefer people. So much. You you sitting out with a you can't talk to no damn. Yes, dogs. you can, and they be understanding. All right. Yeah. Like if I had to choose someone to save, I'm gonna choose the person and not the animal. I feel like you might save the animal before Period. the person. Man, that dog bitch. Be looking at you if like, I'm holding you on my damn dog shit, over a cliff, I'm bitch. I'm a do- goner over the dog. Dang, yeah. it's cold. What kind of dog you got? My dog passed away the year before last, and I miss her so much. Okay, so bitches is getting dropped by that dog. That's crazy, <laughs> right? No. I almost fought How my whole girl by my dog. She had uh, Cushing's disease. Humans get Cushing's too. It's like your body producing a lot of um, steroids. Steroids. Essentially, yeah. You weren't using no cum. What? Your dog used to run away and come back. She was yeah. probably out there getting fucked. Getting trained, <laughs> ran on my ass. <laughs> So she a good dog. Not a fuck she ain't. Not, not a dog on her other street. I mean, I did raise her. Man, you crazy. <laughs> dog be looking up and seeing you on the bed like, dog, damn. Boy, if do that? those dogs can talk. <laughs> How old was the dog? She was a, she was twelve. She had just turned twelve. Yeah. Oh, it was about time for that. Nah, she's nah old. man. That's old. Twelve times eight. That's ninety six in dog. Seven, years. nigga. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, I know my math though. Yeah, AP class. Mm-hmm. Eighty four. AP. Uh, okay, is it me on me? Yeah. Uh, sight or sound? Like, would you prefer to have? If you had to choose between which one, which one would you keep? My sight. I want to see. I don't want to hear half that fuck shit they be talking about. <laughs> 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 I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> Sight, I can still read lips and, you know, mm-hmm. well, you know, sometimes get something out of it, but if you lose your goddamn sight and you just got to hear, because sometimes a motherfucker sounds so good and they be looking ugly as a motherfucker. Fat <laughs> <laughs> <That> niggas. <laughs> Shit. You talking about fat niggas? I was thinking fat girl. Right? No fat niggas. We not gonna, gonna do no phone. fat shaming. I'm a fat nigga, so I'm like, shit. You nah, you plus size. You kind of like, like no, just hey, a call me fat. You don't just a little fluffy. No, don't, hey, don't call me that. Need to call me fat. Don't call me no fucking plus size. <laughs> Hey, man, y'all, y'all using the wrong adjective right now. She, she you just about, like husky. You, what yeah, about that? I'll tell you husky. You, you used to shop in the husky first. section? Uh, I, I went through different phases of my life where I got chubby, then I dropped weight, then I got back chubby. But when I was 89 years old, I was husky. 
I used to get all my bugle boy pants and hush. You had to get like them shit taped at the bottom. Yeah, him. A little him. Yeah. Plastic <laughs> on the way. I 18 huskies. I went 18 huskies. <laughs> I think I was six then. <laughs> <laughs> money or love? Shit, money. You can buy some love. You cannot buy you love. the fuck you can. That's not real. I love you and this money. Bitches be loving, <laughs> bitches be loving yeah. rich niggas all the time, and they be ugly, OK? But not just for money. You, you, that's, Man, you would want someone who just love you for your money? The money will get you in the door. Then she would find, fall in love, like, oh, this ugly nigga got a little personality. But if you ain't got no money, that bitch will never see that shit. She'll never know how good of a person you are. Who oh, this nigga a philanthropist? Oh, this nigga love kids. But he had to have that money for her to even know any of that shit. See, that's why, that's exactly why I feel like men should only have access to the women they uh, could acquire before the money. Right. That's the bitch you deserve. Because, see, money come with women. That's a good, that's a you, good take. You on. add water for instant but why swag. why would a nigga work so hard to get a bitch he could have got broke? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, nigga, I could have been a regular ass nigga. Bitch, I don't work too hard to be fucking with you. I'm going to be a bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly, look, when, men are way more shallow than women. Yeah. Oh, facts. Yeah. Because <laughs> you ain't about to catch no, like, super fine-ass nigga with a regular-looking woman. But you always see a super fine-ass woman with an ugly nigga with the check. Right. It all depends. But, man, if you goddamn go to the club, you done had fun drinking and shit like that in VIP section, and it ain't yours, you could, you could trigger fine bitch, get her pregnant, now she... What? Oh, trigger man. fine bitch, get her pregnant. Damn, man, my baby daddy, I got the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> this one ain't shit. <laughs> it was at home, but with the Can money. I get an exchange? <laughs> it wasn't in this section. Yeah. See? That's why it's important to wait, ladies. Right. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you got to see all the niggas first. Right. Eeny, meeny, money, mo. Ho. Um... Would you want to change the future? Excuse me. Would you want to see the future or change the past? Mm, that's a good question. I would want to. I would want to change the past. Cause what if I see the future and see some fucked up shit about to happen? Like, damn. Well, you should have the opportunity to change it, right? Oh, I can change it. No, yeah, no not not the you, future. If, if, if yeah, you, you can see it? the future, what you do right now, because oh, yeah. this is why you should. You're it depends on what to, it is. So if yeah. I can see the future, I can stop some shit. Right. If you can see okay, it, why I don't want to see the future because I can't. The shit that happened in the past, like it probably made and shaped the way it should be. Okay. If I can see the future and stop some dramatic and traumatic things from happening, let me stop it. What about going back and changing slavery and shit? No. Nah, that shit, that shit made us, I ain't gonna say. Like, we needed that type of shit, but it's like, it showed how, how strong black people were. Like, mm -hmm. no matter what you threw at us, you couldn't stop a whole, like, them folks really thought they could kill us off with They some still shit trying. Like that. Right. Shit. We're just chilling. It's, it's whole, like any, anything that's strong at us. For the niggas trying to fuck us up back. still. Like, we overcome mm -hmm. it. So it's something like that, like, simple, if it was the other way around, man, that shit, it wouldn't be number of black people in this country. Cause they couldn't take some of the shit we we endured. We nah, endured. for real. Cause right now, like with the economy and shit, those uh, yeah. man, suicides but, going up. It, and, and and like just not we even used that, to be living man, fucked up. <laughs> black people like we we make fun of any damn thing. Like we find joy out of anything. Like we like Negro spirituals. Them even coming up with Negro spirituals and shit like that. Man, white people have been so bored in them damn cotton fields. <laughs> They could have made a song and then get them through the motherfucking aisles and day, man. The motherfucker be out there. <sighs> <laughs> Black people make fun out of anything. Yeah. Um, poor and happy or rich and miserable? Poor and happy, because I done did that before. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, nah, hold, hold up. When you describe miserable. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let me see. Well, I'm like, I'm like, miserable is like. I'm like to handle some of that miserable shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think poor and happy is the best answer because you can have all the money and still just Man, be like. A lot of people be having money and they still don't. They still not happy. Right. They lame. 
Not, not, not just the character. They be, they be, a lot of people be fighting demons, man. Right. They mm-hmm. not happy with they self. They not, you know what I'm saying? They just at a point in place where it's like, it's no matter the amount of a check, they'll never be happy. And they'll never find joy in it because they looking for the wrong thing. Right. I'm with that. Damn, I be sounding so deep and intellectual. You said you was a genius, right? Yeah, that's the AP shit coming out of me. You ever had your uh, your IQ tested? Yeah, but I can't talk about it. Boy, get. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, real talk, because they want, after that, they wanted to send me to the White House and start working with the I was like, nah, I don't want to work in that type of field. No, okay. Like, your shit too high to be an entertainer. Facts. You got the top three score in the, the like history of the IQ humanity. Test. All right, so you want the painful truth or a comforting lie? Shit, it don't matter. <laughs> Give me the painful truth. I feel like men like to get lied to. Yeah, we do. That's why I said give me the pain. I say never tell niggas the truth. Never. You never? Nah. It depends. It depends on what it is, but like body count, dumb shit like that. See, I don't ask no stupid shit like that. I don't want to know your body count. I had a nigga compiling a list in his cell phone of my supposed bodies. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, that's oh, crazy. That's, that was insane. Oh, you weak ass <laughs> nigga. I don't even know who you Say is. Say it again, man. nigga. Hey, man, <laughs> what that lame as fuck. That nigga, you like, still. Everybody here, like, yeah. He, he, he still ate the pussy? Right. Period. It don't matter. Like, that one nigga be tripping, man. You still man. gonna eat this whole ass pussy? I'm right, confused. So, man, right. the thing about me, I don't wanna know your bodies. And the only reason I don't wanna know your bodies and how many men you been with, because it don't matter. I'm still gonna be trying to be the freakiest nigga you ever came across. Right. I'm gonna eat that pussy. Period. <laughs> <laughs> intense pain for 10 minutes or dull pain for a whole day? Oh, intense, intense pain for 10 minutes. That's something like getting a tattoo for a little bit or something like intense that. Intense pain, though. Like, not what, a tattoo. What you, what you consider? I mean, like, the most baby, ex- nigga. like the most excruciating intense pain, pain that you ever experienced for 10 minutes. For 10 minutes? Or a dull pain for the whole day. That's 600 seconds. <laughs> 6,000 milliseconds. I could deal with that. A whole day? Like ongoing pain? Yeah. No. I can't even count that quick, so I don't know if he's telling the truth or right. not. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <Yeah>. It's out <laughs> good. <laughs> so is, you're going with the 10 minutes? I'm going with the 10 minutes. They yeah, say the kidney stones feel like like, if a man wants to experience, like, how a woman feels like having a baby, kidney stones coming out your dick. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's the same pain. But you didn't describe intense. You think having a baby is intense pain? Yes! yes. Okay. Niggas could never. No, yeah. no, no, no. I was just trying Shit, to... Shit, I don't even... I don't have no kiss. I don't even know if I, I can. I was just trying right. to try the fuck. I'm not... <laughs> let, me, let me explain. I wasn't saying that's not intense pain. I just was trying to be on the question that... Mm-hmm. Is that the intense pain that you was implying? Yes. Like having a baby type of intense yes. pain. Yes, I could do that for 10 minutes. Really? Over having a whole day of pain? Just dull pain. What you consider dull? See, the question is, it got, <laughs> got gout. You got your foot, nigga, dull. <laughs> oh, something like that? Yeah. Oh, shit. Give me some dull pain all day. <laughs> okay, sleeping with the door open or closed? Door open. Laying on your stomach? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. So you don't hey, lay on your stomach. Any nigga who lay on his stomach, man. <laughs> <laughs> they different. What's wrong with sleeping on your stomach? For a grown man? With the one knee up. <laughs> Most niggas sleep like that. Shit. What nigga? I get that's a Charleston thing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all hear that shit? <laughs> nigga, you said you said most niggas. Nigga, that's an Atlanta thing. Let's you be clear. Fuck, right? Niggas is Dude. definitely sleeping on his stomach, like arched up in Atlanta. Nah. <laughs> that be the niggas Put who a move. On that be the niggas who move here. <laughs> niggas who from Atlanta. Nigga, we ain't even have no bed to be sleeping on our damn stomach. Nigga, you got that. <laughs> lay on the, he lay like this on that motherfucker. <laughs> but nah, I'm sleeping with the door open. Why? Why? You know, I always Me sleep too. with the door closed because if somebody come in the house in the middle of the night, like... You still they gotta, gonna die? Nah, dog. Sleep with the door closed <laughs> and you got more time. By the time they get through the door, like, what you pistol gonna ready. Be? Pistol ready. Man, fuck that. Yeah. So, look, you done went through you, all you, that. You nigga just come walk right into your room. The nigga goddamn kick the door down. Yeah, bitch, I'm here. 
All right, make this shit quick, dog. No, I ain't dying. I'm always living to tell a story. See, that's the difference. And then if you sleep with the door open, you can hear more. You can see more. You got the door closed. You don't hear nothing. I seen a Lifetime movie like that. You gonna hear somebody wiggling the door. All right, I seen a Lifetime movie like that. They gonna get your ass. Nah. (laughs) Keep sleeping with that door closed. You gonna be like, damn, he told me. (laughs) Wait a minute, Tammy. (laughs) Bad bad breath of body odor, what? (laughs) Uh, Right. Like, what? (laughs) What you, you talking you about dealing with a person? A with? person, yeah, not you, but uh, like. I'll take somebody with bad bro. Nah. Over body odor? Yeah, because it's like. Both uh, the same, they could have right? ate, ate a meal with onions in it. Or, or it could have been they, the food they ate. Or what something if it's like the that. consistency? Like, like holotosis. Like, yeah, well, like, you got, know, Tony with the stink mouth, like. Yeah, or they can have a dead <laughs> tooth. Yeah. But if somebody stink, you remember a stinky nigga. It don't matter how <laughs> old you get. You remember somebody from my school who was a stinking Hell one. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I, man, stinking ass key bones. <laughs> I went to school with that nigga, bro, and we called that nigga stinking ass key bones. That's a real person? Like, yeah, that's how we just call him. Well, I can't say it on the show. I don't know. You calling people names? They might not like that. Well, shit, we called him that in school. <laughs> <laughs> he say shit then. He could have bathed and got rid of the shit. He brought his stink ass to school. <laughs> So, but it's like, I'd rather take a person with bad breath or bad body odor. Man, that, that body odor shit, yo, clothes be stink. You come stink up a nigga house. Facts. That's bad facts. breath, nobody just ain't gonna wanna smoke after you and drink after you. Y'all like, seen uh, you. Ray J. Ray J on The Breakfast Club, he was talking about um, women body odors and how oftentimes it's men, you know, causing it. But niggas be talking shit about stink coochie. Well, shit, but like, still is yours. <laughs> what? At the end of the day, y'all it don't be matter who. Y'all coming through contaminated. Right. Yeah. 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 It don't matter who contaminated. You knock a woman pH be, bounce off and then be, be like, it's yours, man. Them. This nigga who came in the picture, he don't know what you done did the last six months. All he know, that pussy was stank on No, if it's stank on the first day now. Yeah, that on 215. If it's stank on the first day, right, that's where. 215, 2023. Oh, man, Tammy got some bad ass <laughs> pussy. Don't play Tammy. No, I'm gonna use an example. Don't use me as an example, nigga. But I'm saying, like, if you if you a stinky person, people don't want to do shit with hell. No, this stink ass ain't getting in my car. <laughs> like, bro, they it just, they exclude you from everything. <laughs> they bad be discriminating on yeah. stink people. Bad breath, they just don't about want to be you, an association they, coming up. They just don't want you drinking <laughs> off their cups and all that type of shit. <laughs> all right, um, find true love today. I mean, the most absolute love of your life, right? Mm-hmm. Your partner, Ace Boon Coon, for life. Mm-hmm. Or win the lottery next year. Win the motherfucking lottery. Damn! I'm going to still find that true love. I'm going to find a few of them. I'm going to buy a few of them that money, man. <laughs> no, nah, but all jokes aside, I just played around with that. I would want true love. Because if, it, if that's my real true love, we will build an empire and get the money together. Amen. I'm just talking shit. Give me the money and, <laughs> and give me them hoes. <laughs> give me them bitches. <laughs> Fuck a true love. You gonna cash that that uh, that yeah, lottery man, ticket I, I, and this gonna stop working the I'll very next day. I'm just waving that ticket on TV. <laughs> Check your cash out, bitches. I'm back. <laughs> Trick daddy. <laughs> I changed my name on Instagram to Trick Daddy underscore Lottery Winner. <laughs> <laughs> By the time I finish, I done found true love. Probably three or four of them staying together. Yeah, I don't know, Tad. What's the next one? Lose your sight or your memories? Ooh, damn. Man, fuck the memories. Really? <laughs> Man, Yo. fuck them. You just said. Like you wouldn't be you without the neighborhood you grew up in and the, the motherfuckers <laughs> yeah, around you man. now is fuck them niggas. That, that just let <laughs> if you, I can't see that no just let you know time changed. <laughs> when you it's get an in, illusion. Yeah, time is an illusion. When you get in different it's positions, your mindset will change. Right. So I'm in a different position than I was three questions ago. I'm looking at <laughs> I'm looking at this shit now, man. This shit really didn't shape me. <laughs> I'm who I am, because I am. <laughs> fuck them memories, man. I can't lose my sight. Right. Because you, you can have all the memories in the world, you don't know where to go. Man, I remember, <laughs> I, I remember that varsity on Tip Street, but I can't drive and get there. So it little yeah. shit like that. Okay, that's fair. That shit is a disadvantage, yeah. being blind. Even people wearing glasses. Mm-hmm. Like, you better get some Lasix before this goddamn zombie apocalypse, nigga be running around looking for glasses. Look at your ass. <laughs> <laughs> what you think about the aliens getting shot out of the sky? 
Man, I, I feel like on some real shit, it's not enough people talking about that. You know I don't feel like it's aliens. You ever read the book, Behold a, P a Pale White Horse? What? You ever read that book? Well, nobody in reads a boring ass You mean the like Bible? No, nah, it's a white guy who was a, a CIA agent. He wrote a book talking yeah. about what the military would do or what the U.S. government would do. So they're going to shoot down the aliens, right, to make, it, make us think it's some shit out of space, but it's actually, you know, the government attacking us. Uh, mm. I don't get in the government business, and I pray they don't get in mine. <laughs> I got three PVP loans still pending <laughs> that I need to come through. All right. Would you rather give up air conditioning and heating for the rest of your life or give up the internet for the rest of your life? Man, air conditioning and heating. Shit, I grew up without that shit. I know how to turn the stove on, warm up a house. <laughs> I know how to go take a cold shower when I get too hot. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't get with that fucking internet. Fuck it's that, It's addictive, man. right? Yeah, like, that's how I know. I'm sick of the internet. No, but it's so much you could do on the internet when you, your mind bog like, you want to Google it. That should solve a lot of arguments, yeah. right? Google said. And then just, you just feel lost out the world sometimes without the internet. You can know what's You feel disconnected. On. Yeah, you feel disconnected. That air conditioning ain't going to be shit. That's what spoiled us anyway. People were living longer without the air conditioning. <laughs> I don't know how true that is. <laughs> how old are your grandparents and uh, great grandparents? Niggas is dying They passed away, but they were in their 80s. Yeah, exactly. How many niggas you know that you don't went to school with dead already? Mm. That's a fact, but I don't know Baby. if the air condition had nothing to Baby, do with that. Baby, listen to me now. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. When I'm teaching, let me preach. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, last question. Be an extra in an Oscar-winning movie or the lead in a box office bomb? Shit, I already done did both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was an extra in coming to America, too. <laughs> I mean, I don't you even was wanna... in there? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And I got a little bullshit ass Tubi movie out right now. That shit ain't Tubi popping shit. now, right? But not Everybody the movie I was in. Shit on <laughs> I'll take that goddamn shit. I'll take that uh, box office movie. Box office bomb. No, hell no. The one that did good, the Oscar. Oh, the Oscar. Oh, you, you, get the Oscar. Okay. you know you gotta sacrifice somebody after you get the Oscar. No, you don't. Who you sacrificing? Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I just met y'all. That's why the fuck I don't leave home without that heat. I just met y'all. I just met y'all. I don't really know if we gonna work. So. <laughs> and that's why I'm dropping motherfuckers and not the dog. Right, see? Hey, hey. <laughs> like, man, I know, I know two talented. I don't remember that, man. I know two talented motherfuckers. Y'all gonna get them We Talk Back podcast girls. <laughs> Take them out. All right, they so gonna have last, a tough time. last thing. We have this segment on our show called Simp Series. And we want you to share a time with us where you got played by the opposite sex. Shit. Or the same. Or the same. I gotta tell you about some <laughs> shit yesterday. Uh, <laughs> bitch got me on Valentine. I said, God damn, You bitch. ain't have a Valentine? Yeah, but this is my other little bitch. Oh, other. what happened? Well, she was with her what, nigga? What is shit gonna be at? <laughs> <laughs> no, man. To be. Well, bitch, I was a little crazy about it. You know what I'm saying? She was mad at me. I know you're going to be with your girl today. I was like, man, calm down. I got you. I got you. I'm, I'm going to make it up to you. I look on this bitch page. She with a nigga. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> bitch, you had me feeling sad. <laughs> Why you with your bitch? <laughs> My bitch like, what's wrong? You don't like the food? I'm like, no, I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> I'm just talking shit. That was just a little comedy joke. I'm going to try. Uh, <laughs> Write it down. Yeah, in case this shit get out <laughs> to the masses. But now, nah, man, I don't care what a nigga say, man. Is women like women got that uh, like that approach that will you? They'll make you feel like, damn. Well, I think with me, I, I like hard. Not like hard. Yeah. So you be in lust a lot. Yeah. I be in lust. Mm -hmm. I like lust. Cause you know, like sometimes, like I don't realize, like a like I don't realize I like a girl to to his over with. That's most men. Well, yeah, like, they don't miss you till you're gone. Right. Nah, I ain't say miss. I'm talking about, I used to like little shot. 
Oh well. <laughs> next, next. Nah, it will be that though. But like, bro, at the end Who of the day, man. Tonight? Sometimes women, like, it ain't even though sometimes women just are fun to be around on some real shit. Like, we ain't even gotta be on no romantic level or like right. sexual level. Like, sometimes I'll be around women just to goddamn pick up some game. I see how women do other niggas. Like, mm-hmm. Oh boy, this is a cold game. Mm-hmm. Or I might just goddamn, you just learn the lingo. You hear what women like. I heard, man, I was hanging around with one of my homegirls. She told my son, man, it's just something about when a nigga get a manicure. Next thing I know, I'm getting manicures every three weeks. Like, I don't, I don't need my nigga sitting up in the salon. Okay? No, it's cool. Well, I like that. I'll do it for that's you. Plan, I like that. No, I'll that's do some plan shit. For shit. You. you going yeah. on a date with a, like, you like, I want to hang out. Let, let go get a manicure. Right. Now that shit done open up her eyes. I'm not even the nigga she think I am. Your nails done right now. Yeah. Look better I'm than mine. You. Shit. <laughs> it is, I'm doing that shit. I'm being a nigga that my homegirl like niggas to be. And mm-hmm. she a bad bitch, so I know this what you the, this regular bitch I'm talking to. I know you are being in love with a nigga <laughs> like this, <laughs> and I ain't doing half the shit you supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being for real, man. <laughs> yeah, I, you know a lot of these shows now they always have this man of really in the black community, the men versus women. So it's nice for a black man to say he like to be around women, because some of these niggas act like they can't stand women. Man, I don't hate. At all. Except for sex, and that's it. You yeah. Know? Man, that's Somebody shit. Somebody say yesterday they, they want a robot, isn't it? Right, they want some robot pussy. Bruh, it's like little stuff like that. Even if I want to go get something to eat, I ain't finna tell my buddy, like, hey, bro, let's pull up, let's try this new restaurant. I like to try new restaurants with a woman. I right. want to do mm-hmm. shit with a woman. Mm-hmm. Like, of course, Eventually, I do want to fuck. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but I want to start our friendship and our bond. I want you to see that it's more than just sex with me. You dating? Hmm? Are you dating no, right I'm now? No, I'm in a relationship. For real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Why everybody laugh? I feel like you lying. A nigga told me the other day that <laughs> women like niggas in relationships. <laughs> So my home, when my home girl told me that, I, I, since then I've been in a little relationship. <laughs> that might be true, man. I so, feel like yeah, it. In case y'all would choose and just know I'm in a committed relationship and I will not cheat. Unless <laughs> so you want me to. <laughs> we'll see. That's how women be. Yeah, women be want to compete then. Mm-hmm. Man, when, when a woman find out you faithful, she ain't even really feeling you like that. Like, man. Nigga, I ain't competing with no bitches. No, no bitches want you, nigga. I don't want to. I don't want a nigga nobody else want. I don't want to compete. Want. I, listen, I don't want a, a man that is accessible to everybody. Right. But you don't but, want that nobody else want. Yeah, it's like, why the fuck I want you if nobody else? Nobody will? else wants like, you. Like somebody gotta want the nigga. Yes, right? absolutely. Yeah. I need. I just feel like if I bitches. want you, everybody probably wants you. That's how I feel about Damn. it. <laughs> So you you top tier like I me. just feel like that the niggas I like I feel I, I assume every woman likes them too. That may not be true, but right. but sometimes a woman I this is when I realize a, a woman might even be start looking at me different or even think she's like man you, you all right once a person get to know you I was like yeah I done broke her Got down yeah Got him. Him. she might <laughs> always have her goals of being with a tall. I like short Good niggas, nigga. Nav. That's why I ask you how tall you are. You like short niggas? Yeah. Oh, man, shit. Five, five. Niggas be big and tall <laughs> at the same yeah, time. Like, you were six one early. Be working yeah. hard. Uh, Tell hey. me a smart tall nigga. Yeah, I be. I'm really like five foot even on a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> Let me take these extensions off my legs. <laughs> you do got about two inches of shoes, Nav. Yeah, you cheating. <laughs> when you say you like short niggas, yeah, like, okay. Mm-hmm. What, you like tall niggas though? It just depends. Damn. So who want me? Like, <laughs> you in the middle? I feel like I'm Literally. on a limit date. <laughs> Both of y'all look good. I can't decide. I just fuck it. Whoever choose me, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> now tell everybody where they can find you. What you got going on? Like plug yourself for our show. Man. um... I ain't that went by quick. I had fun on here, man. I'm uh, glad you had a good time with us. At Nav Green on all platforms, man. I got about three movies dropping this year. 
And it's, it, it sounds unbelievable, man, but God damn, man. <laughs> hey, man. Congratulations. Yeah, not, no congratulations. Yeah, wait till it drop, because I know how they edit shit. I might not be in that motherfucker like, <laughs> like the last shits I've been in. So, uh, Coming to America? Man, what? They did me dirty as motherfucker. I went and bought, I went and bought the best suit I could afford. Uh, happy as hell at the goddamn premiere. <laughs> and I ain't seen yourself. Shit, barely. I heard my auntie, there you go. <laughs> I, Walk I, around the corner. I looked up. That shit was gone. <laughs> it's like they were playing I Spy at the theater. Like, there you go. Oh, damn. <laughs> I think I seen it. Where's oh, now? <laughs> but no, right now, man, um, and especially like touring. Mm-hmm. I've been touring with uh, 85 South, uh, Carlos Miller uh, tour. Poor Minds tour, so I've been got them. Working, moving and shaking. Hey, man. Count, don't count them. Don't count them shows, man. Then you start doing the math. Then I'd be one of them niggas y'all were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, how the fuck he get them? Uh, Ari Lennox. Nah, who I want? Yeah, I'll probably, uh, I'm trying to see what I'm gonna get when I get a check. You a big Ari Lennox fan? Nah. She's single? I like her music, though. I'll probably get uh, Kyla Pratt. Why niggas think just because they like you, you automatically like them? I get I You'll get. try to get Kyla no, Pratt. Get. Man, I, the only thing that's I'm going to say in this real, just hang with me. Just hang with me. We're going we gonna to do some simple-ass shit, and you're going to be like, damn, I had fun with this nigga. We ain't went nowhere. <laughs> Stop by my auntie house. <laughs> Stop by my auntie house. Day. Went through Target. Bitches love to ride. I like to be on the passenger side. Yeah. With a man. Then we got them playing playlist battle. Oh, you don't remember this song? Now she playing her song. This thing, you know, I ain't spending over $19. All of it, <laughs> all of it went in the gas tank. <laughs> <laughs> They were like, damn, Kyla Pratt with that nigga? Yeah, man. It's like, what, what you like so much about now? I just, I just he rhyme with you. He's a nice guy. He different. He not <laughs> like, you know, that's what like bitches ready to settle, man. I'm, like, man. I'm about to be with who like me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's what I'm on to. You don't want to be that nigga bitches settle for. I wouldn't care. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't, that's the thing about society now. Niggas be worried about what other people think. Yeah. Settle for me. <laughs> Shut up with me. Oh, babe, I'm sorry you couldn't get Michael B. Jordan. Lay on me. <laughs> I want that motherfucker Jonathan Major. Now I feel like I put that in the universe, not who all the that? bitches. Jonathan Major is the dude who played on uh, Lovecraft Country oh, and The Harder that. They Fall Harder. with the civil rights face. Oh, The Harder They I know who you're talking about now. That okay. nigga is fine, okay? Oh, he on my goddamn I think he's married uh, to a white my lady. vision board. He got, I think he got a baby mama, a white woman. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. But I got, I got him on my who vision board. Who is my person? I don't know if I have. It was Jonathan Majors, but after I saw that, she like that. Like after the, I saw that he like wasn't that interested in black too. women, then that became it wasn't my person anymore. I guess maybe like I, don't, I like Idris Ibaka. still. Ibuku, oh, you like Ibaka. old nigga? I like Idris. How old that nigga? You he married? Fifty. Oh, okay. Yeah. You got that dick too, remember? What movie was that? <laughs> oh, sorry, sir. Oh, anyway. Damn. <laughs> the fuck y'all done turned this show into, man? Thank you so much, Nab, man. We appreciate you for coming on. We want you to come back and kick well, it with us I again. I appreciate it. What money bag is like, y'all, he, they paying you? No, nigga. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate you so much. No, definitely much. appreciate you. No, straight see, up. This is the, this is the thing people don't they be got understanding, lunch. like with the podcast. Uh, it's a barter system. Man, not even that. Like, just understanding how big, like, this networking type of stuff mm-hmm. be. A lot of people be thinking, like, I, sometimes podcasts get you goddamn more exposure than the damn shows you yeah. got, Mike. Because, mm-hmm. like, it's like a fan base type of stuff. And me, anytime it's a, a woman podcast, I like to go on there and be a sex symbol. That's right. I you think you're that. a sex symbol. You did that. From the side, like, your ears are... <laughs> you got some nice-ass ears, dog. You said from the side? <laughs> Let me see your elbow. Man. <laughs> I, I ain't like never elbows. heard nobody compliment somebody's ears. Shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> Y'all full of shit on here, man. <laughs> All right. All right.
right, y'all, listen. If you enjoyed this episode, please tune in every Thursday on the iHeartRadio app or wherever the fuck you get your podcast at. This is your co-host, AJ Holiday. Y'all follow me on Instagram, AJ Holiday 2.0. Uh, hold on. God damn, when is she gonna talk? I'm gonna talk. Nigga, oh. what? Oh, 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 momento. Okay. Right. Don't we have, we got some shit uh, coming up we're gonna be hosting in Charlotte. Oh, yeah. Uh, what is it called? Henny and Waffles yes. in Charlotte, March 5th. Y'all come out, come hang out with us. It's our first hosting, so y'all pull up on us. Yeah, y'all it's ratchet me- as fuck, man. What? Henny and Waffles? It's a That's big thing. That's the first one, Henny and Waffles. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's gonna be lit. It's gonna, gonna be a good country. Yeah, oh, yeah, it moves yeah. 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 You been? You been to one? Yeah, they get drunk and be all over. This nigga nigga be lying like a rug. (laughs) I'm just talking shit. Nah, but y'all gonna kill it, man. Yeah, it's gonna be good. All right, y'all, I'm Official Tan Bam. Y'all, thank y'all for tuning in. I love y'all so much. Remember to speak now. And never hold your peace. Deuces. Deuces.